Now you risk uh, you risk. Thank you. Can you restrain yourself from making Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like my colleagues to sometimes go and listen to American political analysts, what they talk about Joe Biden. They used to call him Crooked Joe. They call Trump an abuser, a rapist. Sometimes we just need to be honest with ourselves. Mr. Speaker, I want to say something to my colleagues in this house. And I'm not pontificating, it's just my reality. I feel, because of the issues that I've been raising, I could be abducted. And I am not anti-government. What I am saying is that our country deserves better. We can run this country, President William Ruto can continue to govern this country and he can even win the coming elections if he did the basic things that Kenyans want. Please, let us not kill our young people. It is only in Latin America when drug dealers and warlords organize for certain individuals who disagree with them to assassinate or abduct people, to violate women's rights. I am begging my colleagues, in fact, I am begging the President of the Republic of Kenya, President William Ruto, the history of this country will never forgive you if these abductions continue. If individuals have extrajudicial killings where they are murdered because they have a different political opinion or where they are questioning government policy and decisions. Let us not think this is the reason why the young men went to the streets. They felt that we were not doing our job. Our job is to tell them. Senator Omal Sheikh Mariam. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, in the Constitution of Kenya, there is a right to life. And life starts on conception. Mr. Speaker, if we continue like this, abducting, extra judiciary, extra killing. Mr. Speaker, there is no democracy in Kenya. Mr. Speaker, how can we explain to the new family of MCA of Wajia? How can we explain to a kid who is now two years old Mr. Speaker, we need justice in every part of the Kenya. Mr. Speaker, if Kenya goes like this, what's the difference with, between Kenya and Somalia? Where do we live? And Kenya is home, Mr. Speaker. We need a safe place to take care of our kids, to take care of our properties. Mr. Speaker, let's follow the rule of law. If somebody is, human being is to error. If somebody is to error, there is rule of law, there is court. Take the person to the court, convict, Mr. Speaker. But six days, seven days, where is the MCA? How can we explain to the parents? How can we explain to the, uh, his mother, who is old, Mama, she cannot understand this system. Senator Bas, Sheikh. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I want to join my colleagues also. And for, I want to thank all the members for standing with the people of Wajia. Honorable Speaker, <laughs> it, as it has been said already, I want to join 